Microsoft Pommel Prompt Orchestration Markup Language. It's same like HTML. It is open source and available on GitHub. When you provide a prompt to the large language model or to AI, you just give in normal text, which is not structured. That will result in inconsistency, different prompt each time resulting in errors. To make this standardized, we have POMO. And here's a basic example. It's same like HTML tags with role, task, multimedia data source, such as image, output format. In this way, we have a standardized format for our prompts. And we can pass this to a large language model to give a consistent result. With just few lines of code, only this much, I was able to integrate that with Olama. So I'm passing the formal to Olama to get much more accurate answer. And I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create a formal file, load formal file, combine messages, and finally call Olama to get consistent results with the standardized prompt technique. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm going to show you about Pommel, Prompt Orchestration Mockup Language. We are going to use this in Olama. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you should be able to do this. Olama is a model provider, so we're going to download that as a prerequisite and install it on your computer. Next, on your computer, Olama pull GPT OSS and then click enter. That will download the GPT OSS model, the latest open source model from GPT OpenAI. Now we are going to create a file called app.py, also orders qa.pomol, two different files. So here's the file where we are going to write our pomol code, and then we are going to run our Olama application, AI application in app.py. So step number one, create your pomol file. There's a Visual Studio Code extension for pomol, it's recommended to install this so that you can preview the pommel on the right hand side. So here is my pommel and I'm going to preview that here. So here is the output. So this is the XML like version. I can even view the rendered version. So this is how it's going to look like. Similarly, here's orders QA. So you have a big database with orders CSV file and order line CSV file. So imagine you need to add this into your prompt. That is tedious, but this tool can automatically include all these files within the prompt by just mentioning the file. So the role for this formal is you are a chatbot agent answering customer questions in a chat. And here's the task, answer the customer's question based on the provider data. And here's the provider data and you got different tags such as CP, table, stepwise instruction. We also passing the JSON data to provide the stepwise instruction and also we are looping that. So let's open this order instruction file. It's in the assets folder. So here is order instruction. You're allowed to ask follow up question. You can only answer questions related to the order history. For everything else, please redirect to the customer service agent. Answer in plain English. So these are the instruction in JSON. So that's what we are loading here. And you got orders.csv. Here's orders.csv, just three lines, for example, and we've got two different orders. And we're going to ask question based on these orders. And the question is, how much did I pay for my last order? That's it. So it is fairly simple. Role, task, the CSV data, the instruction, and the question. So now we need to preview this. In extension, we can find the formal and install it. And I'm going to preview it. So when I preview, you can see all the data including the data from the CSV got added here. And here is other data, stepwise instruction, the JSON data is automatically added here. And here's the question. And if I want to render the data, this is how it looks like. Orders, as simple as that. You can provide as a tab separated values or comma separated values. Step number two is to create the application where you will load the formal file and ask questions. That's why we have this app.py file. So I'm going to open it first from Pommel, import Pommel, then importing requests and JSON. Step number one, load and render Pommel file. So here we are just calling Pommel and orders QA Pommel, chat equals true, that's it. Step number one of loading and rendering Pommel file is done. Next, we need to combine messages. Here we got only one message, but sometimes we might have multiple messages, so we can combine that together if required. 
So step number two, combine messages into a single prompt. So I'm just going through that return data from these messages and then combining that using this code. Now just printing for a reference, print. Now the final step, call Olama. Call Olama model. We are just calling the endpoint and the model name GPT OS's latest. The full prompt, stream equals false. Next, getting the data as JSON and printing for our reference. That's it. Just these three steps. Loading and rendering the POML file, combine messages into a single prompt, and finally call Olama model. Now we have successfully created an application which can use the POML and then give us the proper answer. Now let's run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now here's the full prompt, role, task, the data, order lines, stepwise instruction. Just for our reference, it's got printed. It says, I do not have this information. Please contact customer service. This is a basic model. Let's try running this again. And here's the answer when I ran it for the second time. You didn't pay anything for your most recent order. The total for the order of this is zero dollar. So that is correct. Order number 183 is the latest order and it's zero. Probably by using more advanced model, the answer will be much accurate. See how you can convert a completely complicated prompt with multiple different data types and able to run like this. For example, I have another file like this, financialanalysis.pomo. This is much more advanced with Excel sheet image, two different image. You can mention that as multimedia. And I'm going to preview that by clicking this icon and you can see the full prompt here and the image. So now what I'm going to do is pass this financial analysis dot That's it. Only this line I'm changing. And I'm going to change my model to Quen 2.5 vision language model because the prompt contains images. And now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and then click enter. You can see here, I didn't even convert this data into base 64 and automatically it does that for you making your work more easy. And here is a model response, and that is really nice. The model which I'm using is very basic, so I get a very basic response. Better the model, better the response. Here is another POML with multimedia data and few short prompting. I'll provide all the code in the description below for you to try that out. Do let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. Considering you already like Microsoft POML, I also create another video about Microsoft's own agentic system, and that is also open source. I'll put the link in here. I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.